An ex-Army veteran from California was arrested for driving to the Islamic Center of America with a trunk full of explosives. Roger Stockton, 63, had driven across the country from California to Michigan and had been drinking in a Detroit bar when he threatened to harm a Detroit-area mosque. Here at the Islamic Center for America, a lot of the people who pray here, who come here at the community center, are kind of startled by what happened. It all happened on Monday. Apparently, a 63-year-old man by the name of Roger Stockham from California came to this parking lot, according to Dearborn Police, and they arrested him on two charges. One, making a threat of terrorism, and then the other count that they made against him was possessing explosives. We're talking about grade C fireworks that were basically inside of that man's car. We're told that he was arrested behind the mosque here and was taken into custody, held on $500,000 bond. is now live on the air is Imad Hamad, the senior national advisor and the regional director of the American Arab Anti-Discrimination. Well, I indeed it is. Unfortunately, it's not uh, going to be the first nor the last. This is uh, due to the ignorance and the fed of hate that so many people, unfortunately, uh, were influenced by uh, through the advocacy of misrepresentation uh, against Islam and people of Muslim faith. Uh, at the bottom line, you know, a respect to one faith is a respect to all. A disrespect to any faith is a disrespect to all. Any act of uh, hate, uh, any advocacy of hate should not be tolerated, should not be accepted. Stockham was arrested after police received a tip from a bar employee who had overheard him making violent threats. He stopped here at this Detroit bar, revealing his apparent plan to bar manager Joe Nahas. He told me that I am having a magic moment and historical hours because he is making history. Concerned, Nahas called police. Dearborn police quickly tracking Stockham down. His car parked here at the mosque. He was wearing a ski mask. Police say they also found a box of explosives in the front seat. And he said he wanted to leave a package with me to give it to the press after the explosion. But Stockham has a long history of anti-government activity. The defenders have learned that Stockham has a troubling criminal past. In 1979, he was charged with parental kidnapping. Later that year, he was wanted for sending threatening letters to President Jimmy Carter. In 1981, he escaped from a mental hospital in California. 1985, Stockholm was accused of leaving explosives at a Reno airport. In 2002, he sent several threatening letters to a VA office in Vermont. In 2005, he was released on parole. And last Monday, the Vietnam vet was arrested here in Dearborn. Police say they believe he fully intended on doing harm. Hood Walid, an African-American Islamic convert and Michigan's executive director of CARE states, the media attention was appropriate from a local perspective, based upon the fact that he was apprehended without incident nor harm to the mosque. I do believe that had a synagogue been targeted here in such a manner, especially if the perpetrator was a Muslim, that it would have garnered national media attention. This incident seems to be well publicized on local news stations in Michigan, but it has failed to receive national media coverage. The mainstream media has completely ignored this story. Now, just imagine if the same thing had happened, but the perpetrator was a Muslim man. His mugshot would be on every TV screen every hour. So what does that tell you about our media culture?